we showed off a lot of new features, modes, maps, weapons, and even our new third game mode, squads. We also took a look at character customization. They always uh, add this small graphics, stuff, but they never fix what's really wrong. Uh, and highlighted our new audio <laughs> engine. There was one thing that wasn't revealed last week that I'm excited to share with you guys today. And we will be using this new feature to host dedicated servers for Xbox One players. We want to make sure we give our community the best possible online experience. And the Xbox One no is a great new resource for us to Sweet talk. Jesus! What's up guys? Max here. Once again, Pack talking about a subject that I was discussing a little bit earlier about a game series that has kind of fallen out of the realm of excitement for myself, and that has been Call of Duty. Um, it kind of started dying for me after Modern Warfare 3 with the really awkward map design, and in Black Ops 2 especially with the connectivity between players just getting worse and worse and worse between every iteration, I kind of just stopped playing after January of last year and hitting 10th Prestige. I, I felt like I was obligated to do it and I was just done. And there was one thing that I've been mentioning literally ever since the first Black Ops has been out on this very YouTube channel that I think that they need to address. And oh my god, they're finally doing it. To host dedicated servers for Xbox One players. I never thought that I would ever see them finally do something so smart that is to tackle the huge issue of Call of Duty that the netcode has sucked in the past few games. And to do this, as you just saw, it is being done by adding dedicated servers to the console version. Now, the dedicated server thing has happened to Call of Duty before, on the PC version. Black Ops 2 did have dedicated servers on PC. However, the console versions of these games, which are the much more wildly played versions amongst many people because they just don't have good computers, is what a lot of people play and a lot of people look forward to, especially with being so connected with friends and stuff like that. And I am one of those guys. And I have really been itching to get back into a competitive shooter. I've always kind of like balanced out my fighting games with a competitive shooter for a long time. And I've been missing it, man. I even tried jumping back into Black Ops 2 recently and I just couldn't do it. I, I was discussing this in my previous video, so I won't go on about it. What I want to talk about is how dedicated servers for Call of Duty Ghosts is huge. That is huge for a guy like me. My interest in the game went from like this shoddy like negative one to it just peaked. All the way up. I couldn't... Everything I wanted to... Everything I didn't hear about the game before. I was looking up perks today. I was looking up the kill streaks, the score streaks, how the entire gameplay balance is going to work, all the maps, the layouts, the breakdowns, all this stuff. I investigated it all because as soon as I heard, wow, we are going to be playing on dedicated servers, there's a small chance that I might be on an even playing field with other people. Because in all honesty, when I realize that I'm at the better end of a connection in a game, or the other people are at a better end of the connection in the game, it is ridiculously unsatisfying. Having one great game where you go 60-0 is, is great and it's awesome and everything, but you feel like you're cheating people out of something. And if you go back and play Call of Duty 4, this is why I really enjoy it, it's bare bones. There's just so little to the game in comparison to Call of Duty's nowadays, and it's a blast. It's a freaking blast. Because it's satisfying. You feel like you're earning each one of your kills and you're on an even playing field with everyone around you. That's the biggest thing, is being on that even playing field and not having to worry about how weird the connectivity is between the players. Thank you guys so much at Activision for listening to this issue. Now the thing that I wanted to talk about though is that this was initially confirmed at the Xbox One conference that was earlier this week at Gamescom. And at that point I was like, Holy crap, Xbox One is getting dedicated servers. I hope PlayStation 4 version is getting dedicated servers as well because that's the version that I have pre-ordered. Um, and I just, I kind of wanted to try something different because I never really played Call of Duty on PlayStation hardware before, so I'm going to try to get it for my PS4. And the more I investigated it, I was like, it's clearly got to be on both. Even though I know the Xbox One has got that cloud thing and the dedicated servers are probably you know, some sort of integration with that technology. The PlayStation 4 does have a lot of that similar stuff, but not exactly the same, so I was assuming it would have it. But the more I've been investigating, and even some community guys of Activision have confirmed that it looks like the PS4 version, as of right now, has no confirmation on dedicated servers. The PC version, I can almost guarantee you, will not, because in match videos thus far, especially from the event in Los Angeles, guys were playing the game, and guess what happened? It's at host migration, <laughs> randomly in between a match. So 
yo dude, the Call of Duty that it was played for the event in Los Angeles had Xbox One controllers, but they were all confirmed playing on PC builds. And it had host migration, which means no dedicated servers for Call of Duty Ghosts on PC, which is a bummer. I mean, I, I, I hate seeing other ends get the short end of the stick and one end getting like, you know, my, my special, Her. like I don't, that doesn't do anything for me. I don't care. I like having everyone available to everything. Which is why, like, at the same time, I wish games like Killer Instinct were on PC as well, so even more people could play it. So it's it's a thing. Um, right now, I'm I'm heavily contemplating, and I'm hoping that eventually the game will get confirmed for dedicated servers elsewhere, because at the moment, and from what the guys at Activision have been saying, it's only the Xbox One version that is able to do this. And uh, I hope that changes. I really do, because um, I might actually have to switch it over. If not, maybe get a copy of the Xbox One version and a copy of the uh, the PlayStation version because there is a good chance that Call of Duty Ghosts might not have as much lag as previous games because of one thing that is now removed from the Call of Duty engine that has been there for the past three freaking titles. And ever since it was introduced, I noticed that there was a big difference between how the gameplay quality felt online. And that was the addition of Theater Mode. And Theater Mode has been prominent in Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and Modern Warfare 3. And it's gone in Call of Duty Ghosts. The reason it's gone is because you don't need it anymore. It's all your new, like, next generation gameplay systems provide such features to you to go back and watch your games, record, and record matches, and do all that crap. It's, it's there. It's readily available. So you don't need it anymore. And I'm hoping that that does something to alleviate some of the bigger issues with the netcode. The first, or Call of Duty 4, did not have dedicated servers on consoles. And it still felt freaking fantastic. Something happened to Call of Duty to make it go so freaking south on the connection quality. And that's what I'm looking forward to. Thinking back that I might be able to enjoy the same solid experience that I've really missed as far as an online shooter gets me really excited. And I'm, I'm, I'm really, really anticipating what Battlefield 4 is going to do as well. I'm not as versed with the Battlefield series, but it looks like fun and I want to give it a shot. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. I know a lot of you guys are Call of Duty fans because you've been following me for quite some time and some of the first videos I was putting up on this channel was me playing games like COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2 along with Street Fighter 4. So it's been, it's been years, man. It's been like six years since we've been doing stuff like that. And I'm definitely feeling it. I want to get back into a game and take it really seriously and take it very competitively and maybe go to tournaments every once in a while. And the last time I did that was like COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2. So... I don't know what to say, and um, it's a little weird saying this, but I'm actually looking forward to a Call of Duty game again, and I haven't been for the past couple years. Let's go video games. Thank you guys very much for watching. What do you think about this news and information? Do you think dedicated servers can make a huge impact on Call of Duty online play, or do you think it's going to be the same old cheese ball cheese of the past three games? My name is Max, and thank you guys very much for watching. Now back to the internet.